Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today we're playing a deck that was incredibly suggested or recommended. You guys all really like Lycanroc. So today we are playing an updated version of my Lycanroc build, and by updated, I mean I'm trying it out. <laughs> I haven't really played this deck too much, at least with the changes I made. Now, like the basis of the deck, I feel like the deck is very strong, um, but the deck itself needs a little bit of updating just so it can become as consistent as like things like my Ninetales deck that I really like. So I kind of added the same engine with the Octillery Mallow thing. It doesn't work as well because uh, you don't have Vulpix that grab you Octillery with a Beacon or whatever like that, but I mean, you can still get off Octillery. It's pretty easy in the game. Also... Just a little thing out there. You can also throw in Brooklyn Hill in this deck. I don't really like Brooklyn Hill that much, but it does work with both Remoraid and the uh, Rock Ruff. So something to keep in mind. But regardless, we are playing uh, Lycanroc. A lot of people want me to play both forms of Lycanroc in the same deck. That's hard because like the second, the other form of Lycanroc is like energy disruption. And this one is just kind of more geared through off for offense and stuff like that with Bloodthirsty Eyes. I could see you playing a 2-2 split um, with Carbink, and then you just cut out the DCEs, play a little bit less energies, and replace them with like things like, I guess, Hammers. I'm not a big fan of playing Hammers in this current format, though, with Garbodor. I feel like even if you don't play your item cards, they're going to delinquent you. They're going to Team Rocket's handiwork you. You're going to play Sycamore at some point. You're going to lose the... One, one way or another, your items are going in the discard pile. So in our current format, I don't like playing Hammers at all. I can play Team Flare Gun all I want. Uh, whenever uh, Plumeria comes out, you can throw in Plumeria in there. But for now, I'm trying just a straight a Lycanroc Midnight Form build. This is a 200 HP Pokemon uh, with the ability Bloodthirsty Eyes, one of the coolest ability names in the game. Whenever you play this Pokemon uh, from your hand to evolve when you're a Pokemon, during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So, in layman's turn, when you evolve this Pokemon, you can use Lysander, but you don't have to use Lysander. You know, you, you, this ability is Lysander. It's very strong because essentially each turn you feel like you're playing two supporters every turn because you have Lysander and you have your regular supporter for the turn. It's very powerful. You have Claw Slash that does 110 damage and you have Dangerous Rogue that's 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. <clears throat> so both very good attacks. Now, Claw Slash is interesting and I wish it was 120. It's always really annoying because Claw Slash has a cool effect. If you can put a Choice Band on it to make it hit 140, and um, Strong Energy make it one hit 160, that's not that's not great. That's really annoying sometimes to only hit for 160 and not 170. You can't knock out Lele as, as easily, but you can always put in more strong uh, more strong energies. And I was considering putting in something like a uh, Regirock just to make it hit 170 easier. Uh, I'm not too sure if I like it though. Um, Regirock's okay. I don't want I don't want to be forced to play more float zones, you know, because Red Rock can get stuck in the active easily. So mm, maybe it's something worth trying. I still have a lot of testing I want to do with this deck, but this is kind of what I have right now. You'll see me on stream playing this deck a lot more probably. We are playing a 2-2 line of Carbink and Carbink Brig. We are playing the safeguard Carbink just because the other one that pre prevents energy loss is only useful for basic Pokemon, and since everything's gonna be evolving, it's not that great for this deck. And then we have Carbing Break, 20 damage for Diamond Kift. Um, you can put any two energies from your discard pile to one of your bench fighting Pokemon, which is nice, because you can actually attach your DCEs and a strong energy too. You don't, it doesn't have to be a fighting energy card. It can just be uh, any energies to a fighting Pokemon. 110 HP. Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning that you have Power Gem that can do 60 damage if you throw in a strong energy. Choice Bank can make it do 90 damage. You can 2 a KO. Um, you can 2 a KO things like uh, things with 180 HP. You can actually Oko with Choice Band and strong energy, things like Drampa and, um, and um, Toro. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Although you're never going to be really having an issue with that because you have Lycanroc to do that as well. I, I am opting to play the corner Rock Ruff. The Rock Ruff doesn't really matter. I've been going back and forth and it doesn't really matter which one you use. I just like Wild Kick for a DCE attachment. Um, you know, you can get the damage off if you get heads. And then the corner is cool. You can Lysander out things like Koopa and then corner and they can't retreat next turn. So they have to play a switching card as opposed to a float stone. So that's pretty nice. It's also nice for like Greninja matchups to an extent because you can force them to uh, 
to stay in with their their only one good ninja break with corner. It's, it's you know it's a last minute resort thing, but it's possible. Uh, we are playing two Lele just for the supporter, and then like energy drives a decent attack in this deck since you already play the DCs anyway. And then I have a two two line of Remoraid Octillery, as we talked about in the Nine Tails video. I really, really like Octillery right now. Octillery and Mallow is just an incredibly strong combination. Go ahead and check out the Nine Tails video if you want to see more examples of that or like want to hear me talk about it. But uh, I just don't like Shaman right now. Shaman is like. <laughs> Shaman's like Shaman's geared for different decks right now, like decks that are speed or decks that are that are okay with like sky returning a lot and things like that. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Shaman at the moment of time. I feel like you with Lele you have plenty of draw support right now, and then you have Octillery to kind of gives you some mid game to late game draw support if you can't get it off early. So I, I'm not I'm I'm on my I'm on the low light low right low light right now when it comes to Shaman. I am playing two escape rope, two field blowers, two rescue stretches. Also, before I forget, common question of the day. Uh, what new Pokemon do you think we're getting in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Do you think we're getting new Alolan forms? Do you think we're going to get Johto? Uh, Johto Pokemon are going to get Alolan forms since they have that Gen 2, um, Gen 2, whatever game you can play on the Switch now. And... Uh, like the theory right now is that since Gen 1 was introduced, we got the Alolan Informs, Gen 2 is being introduced, and now we might get Alolan Informs with Gen 2 Mons. Uh, do you think we'll get actual new Pokemon? Do you think it's only new Legendaries? Or do you think it's only like new Pokemon that were in the Alola region before? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, if you do drop a like and uh, if this video hits 37 likes, 37 likes, I'll give five people in the comment section down below a couple of codes on PTCGO. So um, drop a like subscribe comment and get a chance to win some codes uh, we were playing two rescue stretchers i like two in this deck because you want to put your lycan rocks back in your hand you use your bloodthirsty eyes ability also it's just a nice way to shuffle cards back in your deck if you need to and i also like two field blowers in this deck because so garbador kind of shuts you down garbador is popular clearly so uh two field blowers is pretty nice for that matchup also like in most matchups against garb you have a really decent matchup because lycan rock Beats Drampa Guard because you can just knock out the Drampas if they ever put them down. Um, your Claw Slash with a strong energy will always Oko Guard, which is pretty nice. And um, you can recharge with your single prize attackers like Carbing and stuff like that. And then they can't end you because of your Octillery. Octillery kind of negates ends. So there's that. I'm playing four Ultra Balls, four VS Seeker standard stuff. One Bridget, which is the reason why I'm playing Remoraid. I believe if you're playing, I think it's a lot easier to play Remoraid Octillery if you're playing a Bridget in your deck. Being able to grab a Remoraid early game and then evolve in the future is really nice. Bridget turn one is always super powerful and I love it in this deck. Um, one Hex just for Greninja matchups and other matchups that were uh, like like a Volcano and stuff that require abilities. Uh, one Lysander. We only really need one, if any, in this deck. I only like Lysander because if we do end up getting ability locked, Lysander still comes in clutch. Um, so I like a one of, but you don't need more than one in this deck. One Mallow, three ends, one Olympia because everything has fat retreat cost. Uh, two or less is, I mean, if you are if you have more than one, you have a fat retreat cost. So Olympia just comes in clutch for that. Once we get the, um, once we get uh, the boy Guzma, we'll be replacing, <laughs> we'll be replacing Olympia and Lysander with probably two of those, which is going to be pretty nice. Because if you guys don't know, Guzma means you can retreat as well as a uh, Lysander effect at the same time, which is... I like it, I like it. Especially since you can combo with your own ability to Lysander again if you need to. I like it a lot. Um, we're playing one Kikui. Like I said earlier, you can hit 160 easily, but the Kikui will help you hit 180. So I like Kikui a lot in this deck. Three Sycamores. Um, three Choice Bands. Had to cut it down from four to three just to add things like the Remorade Octillery. Uh, two float stones, four, uh, four strong energy, four DCE, and four fighting energy. Another thing I've been thinking about cutting is cutting one fighting energy. Um, I don't know what I would add, but I do want to make this deck a little bit more consistent. If I were to add the Regirock, I'd probably cut cut the fighting energy in this deck list. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of things I want to I want to add, but if I cut the fighting energy, right, it becomes a lot harder for things like Carbink to attack. So there, there's just I don't know. There's a, there's a lot to this deck. I'm I'm still like thinking. Which is always, it's always cool to like test decks while recording because I can get people like like the comment section. The comment section of my videos are like dope, right? People really help out in my comment section. Looks like we're playing Volcanion, so that's joyous. Um, Volcanion is not a horrible matchup. We can Lysander around things and it's harder for them to, it's harder for them to switch around, especially since we play things like uh, two field blowers. 
Uh, but it's not the easiest matchup for us either because we only have a measly 10 HP. And we ended up starting with Lele, which is bad because we could have. Well, this would have been a perfect game to bridge it, right? Because um, if we had any other basic Pokemon, we could have dropped Lele for Bridget and then Bridget for three Pokemon. And then we had two Lycanrocs, Kui, Sycamore. But it looks like I'm going to have to be forced to drop all these cards unless they, get, unless they end me or, they, or I top deck or something. Dropping energies is never a bad thing because you have you have Carbing. And Carbing is such an amazing deck card in this matchup. So I think my goal is going to be, is going to be put down Carbing soon and rock roughs but don't evolve the rock roughs until i'm going to be attacking with the lichen rock and use my carbink to charge up the charge up the rock roughs in the bench that way if they ever do lysander out a rock rough it's only one prize as opposed to two if they ever knock out carbink through hex maniac or something like that it's only one prize instead of two uh, skyfield's annoying but it's not the worst in the world let's see what my opponent can do oh they just pass that's good so looks like we do get the Bridget after all, which I'll take. I'll 100% take that. I'm going to be playing Sycamore next turn. And I'm probably going to, yeah, I think I'm going to play Sycamore next turn. So I think my goal right now is to drop a Lycanroc because I'm probably not going to evolve it. I mean, I might evolve one of my Lycanrocs next turn. Let's see, I got Remoraid, Carbink, Rockruff. I got almost I got almost all of my Pokemon, if not all my Pokemon. I have all of my Pokemon. That got, that got me worried. That's got me worried. Let's see if Bridge is prized. We have two Ultra Balls prized. We don't have Bridget prized. Uh, we have a N prized. We have a Choice Band prized. But wait, what, what's prized? I don't, uh, whatever. Regardless, he gave us a big bench, which is going to be useful for us. It only sucks because we have so many EXs, GXs down now, which is just awful, but that's just because we had a bad start. Leading Lele is still pretty bad for us, but we can make do. Bridget, Remoraid, Carbink, Rockruff. Hmm. I'll attach there just as a retreat. I'll put energies in the discard pile. I don't know if I'm going to attach next turn. I'm kind of feeling like using Carbing Break next turn to charge up two energies on a rock ref, but we will see. For the time being, I'll just pass. That Ultra Ball top deck was pretty handy. I'm not going to lie. So it looks like we have an Ultra Ball prized. What did I say? Ultra Ball and he's on a power heater. He's really stuck. Let's take complete advantage of this. Let's take complete advantage of this. Uh, oh, we even got a carving break top deck. All right, that top deck kind of changed a little bit for me. Now, the question is, do I evolve now just to Lysander this? Because I'm probably going to retreat. So I think that is my play. Yeah, I'm going to do. go ahead and do that. We're gonna li we'll Lysander that out. Because he has to. if he doesn't get an energy attachment next turn, then... Um, what's it called? Then... He can't attack next turn and he can't attack my carping, which is going to be active anyways. So I'm just going to discard that because I'm most likely going to. Uh, never mind. We didn't get Ultra Ball either. Mm, never mind. That sucked for me. We can play Seeker next turn, though. I guess that's handy. That did not work out for me, though. I'm going to go ahead and retreat, anyways. That gives me two energies I can attach to a Lycan Rock. Mm, a choice band would be pretty good here though. Um, a ch not choice band, a float zone would be pretty good next turn. Ah, uh, that sucked. We actually whiffed our energies. I didn't think we'd whiff uh, seven or six fighting energies. We had six in the deck because we have them all from what I, if I remember correctly, we had all the energies. Uh, does he have a manual attachment or is he stuck? It's weird for Volcanians to be stuck. This might be that slower build of Volcanian that people are playing nowadays uh, just to deal with garb better. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I need to plug in my computer too before I forget. He might also just try to Lysander me. I mean, he's really thinking about this play. He can't attack me because of Safeguard. Unless he plays Hex and attacks me. Which is a possibility. But he also needs to attach to. He has to do a couple of things. I just didn't want him to attack for free anymore with Team Up. He's just going to sick him more. So what's he losing? He lost all, I guess he was considering Ultra Balling or Sycamoring, but I guess in the end it didn't really matter. He can't Lysander this turn. He could escape rope, but I have two Carbinks. Uh, he's got a fully charged up bench at this point though. 
Um, he shouldn't attack. He should just pass. There's no reason for him to attack right now. Unless he's just not reading cards. Speaking of not reading cards, let me, uh... Okay, he's just gonna manually retreat, which I will take. Because uh, we could potentially Lysander again in the future. I'm probably just gonna Sycamore here. Which is not great, but I can shuffle back in my uh, Lycanroc. Speaking of Sycamore, this is getting ridiculous. I lost two Seekers to this garbage. Um, I want to put down another Rock Rock, so I actually don't want a Field Blower. Let's shuffle this in. Um, uh, am I really going to Sycamore? This sucks. Alright, let's just Sycamore. Uh, oh, I could Field Blower away the Choice Band. Just that. I want to I want to have Pokemon down on my bench since his his prize is already mapped out for him anyways. All right, Rock Ruff, Rock Ruff. There's Octillery. We got Float Snow, which means we can start attacking this turn if that means anything. He has nothing ready to attack, so I might as well start attacking, right? Because I get the knockout. Do I get the knockout? I don't get the knockout. That's not good. I needed strong energy there. I guess I can just spend this turn charging up, right? Uh, I just attach floatstone here. No, I can also draw it. Let me try to draw it first. Because I have Octillery. If I can draw the strong energy here, that would be ideal. Nice, there we go. And we got Mallow too. Mallow's about to be clutch this game. And now we Claw Slash for 130. And he has nothing ready to attack me. Uh, my GX attack is not going to be doing more than my Claw Slash, at least at the moment. But we have more Lycan Rocks we can throw down. We can attach energies. We can Mallow for what we need. Um, we have we have options right now. If you hopefully he puts down more Pokemon. I doubt he will because he has to play around the attack. Um, but I can definitely <laughs> I can definitely like I can definitely um, Lycan Rock around the Bright Flame, but with the Shell Trap, if he attaches his turn. Shell trap means nothing. Cause I gotta get rid of all these Volcanians. But he's gonna he's gonna do that. I'm surprised he didn't steam up. I guess he just forgot. He's gonna field blower. I guess my float stones are gone. Which makes things a little bit weird because those are my only float stones, but I still have Olympia somewhere in the deck. Another thing I've been considering just doing in most of my decks that play Octillery Mallow is just play Puzzle of Time for this exact reason. Uh, it's just kind of hard right now. I feel like it's going to be an easy substitute once I, uh, um, once we lose Seeker. But Seeker is kind of more important to me at the moment just because we have things like Olympia. He's going to float stone, deactive. He's going to use Shell Trap for 20. 20 is nothing. We're going to try to knock out that Volcanion on the bench. The question is, how are we going to go about doing this? So we can hit for one. We, I mean, we definitely get the knockout on Volcanion with the GX attack, but I'm trying to think of how we can do it without the GX attack. I will need a strong energy attachment, a choice band, which we can both get with Mallow, and we can Lysander this out, right? So first thing I need to do is empty, put my hand down to three after I play Mallow. So let's go ahead and evolve first. And I need choice band, strong energy. That would make me hit 180. All right, so let's, let's do this first. Um, yes, let's bring out the Volcanion. All right, that's one. Um, I have to Ultra Ball, which is not great, but it's I can grab a Rock Ruff with this, which is actually pretty nice. So we'll grab Rock Ruff, and then that'll give us what we need. Um, there we go. So the Skyfield ended up helping us tremendously. Now we play Mallow for Strong Energy Choice Band. Hopefully they're all in the deck. I'm pretty sure we have all of our, I'm pretty sure I saw them all in the deck, but it looks like we don't have choice band. Yeah, we don't have a choice band. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> all right, all of our choice bands are gone, uh, which is exciting. Um, oh, we have, we have a choice band prized. Okay, maybe I did say that and I just don't remember. Regardless, we don't really need energies at the moment because I'm just going to GX attack now because I hit... Well, I need the strong energy to knock him out still already. 150, 170. Yeah, I still need the strong energy to knock him out. I guess we just grab another DCE. Do I have an energy attached to anything? No. Let me just grab a DCE just to have it ready. 
And now we can draw with Octillery. <sighs> Clutch. Um, we even have we even have uh, this right here. But yeah, this gives us a knockout on the Volcanian, which is kind of like the biggest threat right now. And we have more strong energies. If we get Choice Band here, no Choice Band. Dang, if we got Choice Band there, we could attach <laughs> we could attach Choice Band to get knockouts. Because we're hitting for 40 extra damage, meaning 150, 140, 180 with a Choice Band, and 200 with the strong energy. Which is the goal right now. But right now I'm only hitting 140. Which is enough to knock out a Shaman if he chooses to play Shaman. This end doesn't really affect us because we have um, the Octillery. I could honestly play down a second Octillery if I really, really wanted to. But I don't really see the need to do that. We have all of our Lycan Rocks in the deck at the moment. I think. Let me double check. Yes, we do. Dope. I can actually drop, attach, start attacking with Lycan Rock. If we get, unless we get a Lycan Rock off the prizes, he's probably just going to Bright Flame for knockout. Well, can he knock us out? He has Volcanion. He has a, he has a steam up with Volcanion first. But we can just charge up another Lycan Rock thanks to our carving break, and he can't really do much about it. And that's an easy knockout. So that's going to be handy for us. Knocking out two more cards will win us the game pretty much because that shame is just chilling right there for us. And now he's not afraid of benching too many things, which is handy for him. Um, unless he chooses to just GX attack next turn, Nitro Tank, but he'll be in range of being of being knocked out. Uh, he hasn't gotten a knockout yet. He can't Lysander this turn. Can yeah? He played end this turn. He can't Lysander this turn. Um, and between um, um, okay, hold on. I just got a message that was. Very not appropriate, but um, <sighs> what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, between manual attachments, carbink break, and having having being way ahead in prizes, I should be okay this game. Also, I'm very sorry for being distracted like that. Apparently, my friend just got kicked out of somewhere. That's not cool. All right, so you just play Max Elixir there. I'll have to deal with that later. And Bright Flame is a knockout because of the steam up. All right, so this is good because it puts this Pokemon in range of um, easy to hit Lycanroc next turn. I'm going to charge up. Nice. Um, let's bring in a Pokemon that has a high retreat cost. Let's bring in Baby Volk over there. Actually, I want to put this in range as well. But with two strong energies, doesn't this like not get a knockout? Should I be greedy? Should I do that? No, because I'm going to knock out Shaman for game at some point. So what I should do is try to beat a Volcanion down. Yeah, because I have another Rockruff down. I can just grab another Rockruff later. Um, yes. Bring in Baby Volk. I need a. Oh, I can't. I can't attach this though because I need to get a Fighting Energy first. Do I even have Fighting Energy stuff? I know I have a couple. Um, I have one Strong Energy and two Regular Energies, and I have to draw it off this, or like get a supporter to help me draw it too. Ah, oh, there's a lot of things I have to do here. All right, nice, we got it. Uh, do I want to play Olympia for any particular reason? Not really. We'll go ahead and Diamond Gift here. So fighting DCE onto this Lycan Rock. He doesn't have anything ready at the moment, so if anything, he has to waste a turn either either using his Nitro Tank or um, power heatering up, because I don't think he'll be able to attack me. Oh, unless he lands this, which he might land this. Which I'm surprised he's landing it so late in the game after he played so many energies. But that's Volcanion for you. Who did he put it on? He put it on this. He's just he's trying to bright flame for knockout. He's gonna escape rope here. I just go into my other car bank, right? Or do I just go into Octillery? I know I know I have a second uh, car bank break in the deck, and I still have two more fighting energies in the deck. Hold on. Yeah, I still have two more fighting energies in the deck. I'm just gonna go into car bank break. Whatever. 
We'll just load up a bunch of different lichen rocks. I think we'll be all right. Plus, we still have our own escape rope. So if we can top deck like a seeker, or like a seeker to play Mallow, that'd be pretty dope right now. I'm not going to lie. Also, I have Olympia in my hand. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just realized I have Olympia in my hand. I think I'll be, I think I'll be okay. Although I still really, really need to uh, do, I, I really need to like knock this out. That's not in range either. He has two Volcanians he's going to put down. So that's plenty of steam ups for my opponent. Let's see if he gets a knockout here. He needs to steam up a lot if he wants to get a knockout here. Oh, by the way, guys, um, my, oh, he's playing Lysander. What's he doing with this? I mean, we have Olympia, so it's okay. Is he going to weaken me? I guess he's just weakening me to put me in range. That makes, does that make, does that make things easier? I guess it doesn't matter because we're still going to charge up this one. Uh, I can use this one to damage something. What do I want to damage? I can't GX attack anymore. I can just knock this out, to be honest. We got Seeker, too. Do I want to play Seeker now? Or, I mean, I could just not play Seeker now. Um, if I play Olympia right now, that forces him to double Steam Up to knock me out, right? Do I have Hex Maniac on me? I do not. So I can force him to double Steam Up for knockout. While knocking out this, while so that all I have to do next is play Lysander. Or play Lycan Rock to, to Lysander that out. I'm down with that play. Let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and Olympia. We'll go into the one with Floatstone. Uh, yeah, that puts me out of range. Which means if he wants to get a two prize attack next turn, he has to knock out my my uh, my Lele, which is not good. Because that means he loses knocking out an attacker. We can draw two off of Abyssal Hand right now. And then next turn we can do some Mallow Shenanigans. And we got the strong energy. So I think we win next turn. Because all we need next is a Lycan Rock. With Milo, we can get Lycan Rock. We'll just Claw Slash for Knockout here. Yep, I think that's, I'm pretty sure it's GG unless he somehow Sky Returns this turn. No, we even got Ultra Ball to thin out our, ha our hand if we need to. In case he does anything crazy that we need to do more draws for. Strong Energy puts me in exactly enough to knock out a Shaman. And we have Rock Ruff down with another Lycan Rock in the deck. Because we have one in Discard Pile, one here, one here. And I'm pretty sure we had all of our Pokemon in the deck. Two steam ups is a knockout. If you can't get the two steam ups, that's even better for us. This is why I liked four choice bands before. I really liked four choice bands in this deck, and I'm gonna go back to it after rotation, um, for sure. For definite sure. If he ends me, that's gonna be really annoying. <laughs> but once again, Octillery kind of prevents end from being awful. But that means I don't guarantee game next turn. Right now, I kind of guarantee a game, but I have, I have Seekers, I have Ultra Balls, I have my Strong Energies, I have ways to win this game even if he does end me, and I only have, what, six, we only have 19 cards in the deck, uh, there's very few cards we can draw that are not going to be useful right now, especially since we got Ultra Balls back in the deck thanks to the prizes. <clears throat> Sorry for shaking up my mic too, I just noticed I did that, and that should be GG. And in case we don't get the GG, let's Ultra Ball away these two to grab Lycan Rock. And we just Lycan Rock Shaman for game. Now, hopefully, I didn't do anything that was like. I noticed myself do. Like, something I've noticed a lot about myself lately is that I get very stuck in one mindset of playing a game. And whenever that happens, I, I see, like, I sometimes take the long way. To, to like getting games to winning games that was that happened a lot in nine tails um just because i'm like super tired when i record so forgive me <laughs> uh my boy tack and likes to point it out and i appreciate it i do appreciate it because it does help me learn what i'm doing wrong so i can actually because like the whole point of me like because like when i play when i'm i play when i'm tired right but regardless of me playing when i'm whether i'm tired or not i want to be able to I want to be able to get good enough to where i can play really well when i'm tired you know what i mean if we're playing against greninja we're not gonna have a good matchup um, not at all, because our choice bands do nothing, and um, our carvings pretty much do nothing, and this is not going to be fun. 
Our lead is not great. If I get Ultra Ball, that'd be kind of better. Ultra Ball would be amazing right now. Um, I'm just going to... He's in a mulligan. Do I get Rockruff in the lead or Carbink in the lead? I'm going to do Rockruff because I can corner people. If he leads Talonflame, I can corner the Talonflame. Yeah, it's definitely Greninja. And he has to play Talonflame because he has Colorless in his deck. So I can corner Talonflame, which means he can't actually manually retreat Talonflame. And uh, I know for a fact that Greninja doesn't play any like switching cards like Floatstone. or Maybe he plays Escape Rope, but definitely not Floatstone. Or Olympia or stuff like that. Well, actually, my old Green Ninja decklist used to play Olympia. He plays Octillery in his decklist. Hmm. Unfortunately, we did not top deck very well. We're losing a lot here. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. But whatever. Like, that's a lot of really good cards in this matchup that we just lost. Oh, that's really sad. Um... Mm, it's not great. It's not great at all. All of our choice bands are discard fodder. They don't do anything in this game. I think we might have to try to knock out Remoraid. As long as he doesn't... Even if he does bubble us, we can... Uh, we can do the thing with the Ultra Ball. He plays Rough Seas too. He's going to end us. Dang it, I had Ultra Ball in my hand. Okay, hopefully we can get Lycanroc DC. Or any way to get a Lycanroc and a DC this turn. That'd be ideal. Nope. Definitely wish I Ultra Ball for Rem right now, though. And he pubbled us. So let's see if we can top deck. Top deck a draw supporter. Ultra Ball is a draw supporter, I guess. Uh, we lost both of our Octillaries, though. Um, we'll Field Blower away this just because we can. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play Sycamore. I don't like dropping Lele. But we have to. Lele for Sycamore. Let's get it. Please don't be prized. What's prized? We have a rock rough prized. I think actually I think we have yeah, we have a rock rough prized. And we have a lichen rock in the discard pile. We have all of our DCs though, which is Matt, which is the most important thing. Dope. All I need here is a lichen rock and a DCE, and we can just start getting early game knockouts just to get ahead of our just to get ahead. We definitely need to play Sycamore here. We have a Sycamore prized? Is that what that is? No, we have all our Sycamores down there. Exciting. Well, we lost both Octillaries. <laughs> DCE, come on. Really? Really? I whiffed completely off that? That's some freaking garbage. Did I really just completely whiff? Come on, game. Come on, game. Ugh, I have to Sycamore next turn, too. That's great. At the very least, we can hit for 140. I need to hit for 170, which is, like, impossible without Kukui. Don't evolve. He's on Sycamore. All right. All of your Frogger years are prized right now. I had a bad start. You have a bad start, too. He lost two Greninjas, which is pretty good for me. Um, Enhanced Hammer, of course, because why wouldn't you play Enhanced Hammer? Bursting Balloon, just phenomenal. Great. Obviously, I can Lycanroc around it. All right. He failed that one. Top decks, please. I don't want to attach his fighting. Oh, we lost three strong energies, too, because I have to get DC. I don't really have much of a choice. I actually have to get DC this turn. So thank God for Carbink, I guess. This is this is a ridiculous game. This is actually a ridiculous game. All right, I need to get DC this turn. And you know what we didn't get? A freaking DCE. That's exciting. Um, do I GX attack? I don't think I do. I think I just do this and not attack. I could also just escape rope. I don't have flowstone yet either. Uh, all right, if he bubbles me, that's gonna suck. I can't believe we whiffed. We have all four in the deck. What's going on? I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I don't want to waste my GX attack on a Froakie. I'll do it whenever he has a bunch of green ninjas down or something. I don't think we win this game though, for sure. He has another balloon, which is fine. Balloons don't matter. He's gonna Sycamore again. God. Um, we'll just start knocking out Froakadiers, I suppose, because he's definitely getting Froakadier this turn. I'm just hoping a bunch are like in the prizes that's like my only hope right now of course oh my god who plays two enhanced hammers in greninja bro greninja is so tight right now why would you mm, mm, not happy there we go dope let's go ahead and knock out he hasn't gotten artillery yet either so i'm just gonna go ahead and knock out bench froggy froggy it doesn't really matter 
Actually, maybe I should have. Mm, I'm not too sure what I should have done there. Uh, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do anymore. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I think I'm good. I don't think I have to overplay right now. We'll just claw slash for knockout. We have escape rope in our hand, I think. Yeah, we do. We have Lysander. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. If he plays on another balloon, we can just Lysander. I just have to hope he doesn't have any more balloons. Um, he has Silent Lab now, which is not really effective at the moment. Of course, he's going to put that down. Does he have a way? Yeah, he has more Sycamore. All right, cool. How many Frogadiers has this man lost? He has lost Greninja Breaks. He hasn't lost any stretchers. This man hasn't lost anything good. At least make him lose good stuff. I lost all my good stuff. Come on, game. Okay, so now he's a Frogadier with the Splash Energy. Please have all your Frogadiers prize, bro. I don't want to attack the one with the Splash Energies. Oh my god, I will take it. I will take it. We have Floatstone now. It's pretty handy. Um, definitely attacking this one. Is that what I want to do this turn? Is that what I want to do this turn? I think so. I want to attach, but whatever. Yeah, sure. We'll Claw Slash. If he becomes a Greninja next turn, um, we'll just, I guess, GX attack it. I don't know if that's something we should do, actually. I have Hex, which is actually really handy. That way he can't become Greninja Break. I don't know, I have Kakui in my hand, actually, so I can just Kakui to knock out Greninja. Eventually I'll knock out that Remory too, so. I'm just trying to take the prizes slowly. I don't think he has any more Frogadiers though. Oh, he has two gone. Um, could, does he have ways to get them back? He hasn't gotten a rescue stretcher yet. I mean, he is playing E-Hammer, so maybe his Frogadier, maybe his Greninja list is a lot more clunky. Because I don't see a reason to play E-Hammer right now. Because you have so all of these really great consistency cards in Greninja nowadays that playing tech like that just makes you play slower. He can Moonlight Slash for um, for 80 damage. If he has a Choice Band, that can do 110 for a 2 at KO. But I am knocking him out next turn unless he plays N. Because I have Kikui. And uh, I can try to get Kikui if he doesn't Shadow Stitch. He's in a Choice Band, so that's annoying. And Seeker, don't play N. Play Sycamore. Please don't play N. Yeah, okay, cool. Sycamore is fine. He's going to deck himself out, too, at this point. Wow. All right, well, regardless, let's see what he gets. Hopefully not Octillery. Um, Octillery is kind of annoying. He's down to nine cards, though. I don't know if he plays super... He does play super odd. All right. I don't know why... Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Um, all right. He's got the Greninja and the Frogadier back. That's cool, I guess. He attached two energies of that. But Moonlight Slash, um, he'll keep the thing to help, him, to help him survive. But as long as I keep him from evolving, I think I'll be okay. DC is great. Put that on the rock rough right now. And we'll play Kikui here. Another rock rough down. Another DCE as well, which is handy. Um, I'm trying to find Ultra Ball so I can get rid of this choice band. Because I don't want to put it down on any Pokemon. But regardless, we're, he's in range of Claw Slash, so we're good now. We got Remoraid. Uh, with all our Artillery's prize, I don't think that matters. <laughs> We also have another Rescue Stretcher potentially in the deck somewhere. He can manually retreat that, uh, but if I can get if I can get my uh, Lycan Rock or some Rescue Stretchers or something, we can actually uh, be, we can actually knock out that Froki Froki because I definitely want to knock out that Froki. Uh, unfortunately, ends are going to be a lot more painful now because we lost Seekers, we lost Octillaries, we lost Ed, we lost all of our Sycamores. We've lost a lot. We've lost a lot. But we won. We won. We managed to... He couldn't do anything. I'm telling you, man. You shouldn't be playing things like E-Hammer. Maybe like a one of tech, but to base your deck around it? I mean, it's, he seemed... Either he got lucky with what he got, or like... He just plays... A lot of Disruption in his deck. Which, I mean, I agree. I think Disruption in Greninja was good. I'm not sure about it right now, but if we're playing another Greninja list, it's gonna be annoying. I already played one. I don't want to play two. I do like Talonflame Greninja though, that's my favorite build right now, just because it's more, it's it's geared more towards the meta, in my opinion. Our hand's pretty garbage. Our hand is pretty garbage, I'm not even going to try to flex that this is a garbage hand. Okay, looks like we're playing Lapras. Okay, Lapras we can deal with maybe? 
Not really. Lapras is a hard to have. Like, disruption is hard for this deck to deal with because you play a lot of special energy, so enhanced hammers are just easy targets for you. Um, but we got a fighting energy and a carving. So, a bunch of cards I did not want. But, I can play Mallow here, and Mallow will get me a Sycamore, I believe. Sycamore seems decent. Um, yeah, Sycamore seems decent. Sycamore. Oh, I know what I'm going to draw next. Hold on. So if I get Sycamore. What do I want to draw after Sycamore? DC. Because I, I have an easier chance of getting Lycanroc, I think. So I can start doing my two AKOs. Yeah, I'll take that. I have an easier chance of getting Lycanroc than I do getting anything else. And if he ends me, that's fine. But if he does end me, I'm going to put this Floatstone down now, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just pass. Quad Lapras seems to be becoming more popular again. I don't know, either that or I'm just like seeing an unusually large amount of Quad Lapras. Let's we'll see what my opponent will do here. Bro, I can't wait to stream tonight, bro. Dope, all right, cool. Um, I was just looking at something with for the MLPP. By the way, guys, we did win our round one, which is pretty hype. Um, so we won our first match of our Major League Pack Battle. We got an extra Drampa GX. By the way, guys, if any of you guys are interested in any of the cards that I pull, uh, for the most part, I do sell them all just because I don't really need anything else from these sets. I'm just doing it for the, uh, just for the fun of it. I'm still looking for that last DC. So if I pull it, that will save me a lot of money, even though I'm buying a lot of packs kind of negates the fact that I'm saving money. But regardless, people want me to do this and it's fun, so why not? He got the heads, which is, <laughs> is great. <laughs> it's good. And he's playing N, so at least we force him to play N, I guess, if that means anything. More Rock Ruffs, Rescue Stretcher, and we have to play Mallow again. Because <laughs> we are stuck. I could Lysander and corner. That's a thing I could do. Lysander this one out and corner it up. I just don't want him to be getting all this disruption, even though it doesn't really matter too much. Actually, I can corner him and he can't retreat, which means there's no way. Actually, he has energy switch potential. Regardless, let me play Mallow to get a Lycanroc here. <laughs> because, you know, what else am I going to do? Actually, I can do, just do the same thing, Sycamore, Lycanroc. Sycamore, Lycanroc, because we have the DC in our hand now. And we'll corner this man. Please don't do get rid of our energy. Whiff all your hammers, just whiff them all. You don't need them. Hammers are for lames. Are you a lame? You're not a lame. What if I was Garbodor? You'd just lose right now if I was Garbodor. Look at all these items. Five items right there, turn one. That's ridiculous. Make that six items. Look at this. This is what I mean. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. It's dumb. Is he going to play N again? I mean, he's giving me extra cards every time he plays N. He's playing Fan Club. So he's... Oh, I don't know if he'll play those cards down. But I'm definitely knocking out one of these Lapras's like, early game. Because I don't want to rely on getting Choice Band. So I'm going to use my GX attack if I have to. He can't switch this turn because of Corner. So I think that's what he was trying to do. <coughs> He, I don't know why he's playing Seeker non-stop. I guess he's getting another fan club. I don't understand this deck list. Uh, he's going to collect for another three. Maybe I should have grabbed N. No, because then I couldn't get Lycan Rock easily, easier. Let's do this. Do I can't play anything else. So let's go ahead and Sycamore. Yeah, we definitely knock this out now. Choice. Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> By any means, is that what, not what I not wanted? Um, Rough Seas doesn't, means nothing. Choice Band right now means nothing. Doesn't mean nothing. Well, yeah, I hit for 200 right now. Uh, no, this one has the most energies. I need a fighting energy. Ultra Ball gets me Lele, which gets me things, which is handy. Yeah, we'll just Dangerous Rogue. Get some two prizes right now. Has the most energies attached to it anyway, so might as well go all in on that one. Um, Octil there we go. There we go. Okay, we got Carving Brick. We have this to get Remoraid. Hopefully we can get some Octillaries in this game, since we already have a Mallow in the Discard Pile. That's going to be pretty handy. 
And uh, if we can get a draw supporter off the top of the deck, that would also be handy. If he ice beams me, that's not going to be a big deal because we have potential other Lycanrocks. Let's see if he plays any hammers. Aquapatch just makes these water decks so strong. Aquapatch plus Max looks just ridiculous. He's an N, which is whatever, I suppose. Uh, I mean, my hand was pretty fat and not draw supporty, which I'll take. Uh, it'd be nice if I got Remoraid and another Sycamore here, though. Nope. <laughs> Rip me. Alright, so he might just attack me this turn. I have Carbing Break, though, so if he does attack me, I think we'll be okay. Let's see if he Ice Beams or Blizzard Edges, though. That's the real question. Hex doesn't do anything except for prevent him from retreat. There's E Hammer. Dang it, man. Alright, so now he doesn't have a reason to Ice Beam. Unless he gets rid of my Fighting Energy. That could be kind of dope. To, oh, please whiff these. Whiff these hammers, bro. Don't play these hammers. I don't know if he's even going to play them right now, because he might just Ice Beam me instead. He plays Golduck, too. I've actually seen a deck like this at a League Cup I went to once, when I played Lapras myself. It was Speed Lapras versus uh, like Golduck Lapras. It was weird. Alright, get rid of the strong. The strong, get rid of the strong. Not the DC, get rid of the strong. Get rid of the strong. Yes, they always do it, man. They always do it. <coughs> I can also drop a Hex Maniac, too, to uh, always an Ice Beam. So why did he disrupt anything? That's so weird to me. I don't like when people make plays like that. Um, Carbink down, strong, Ultra Ball. What do I want to do? Do I want to play Hex this turn? I could get Olympia. Ultra Ball, Hex, Ultra Ball, Olympia. Attack with my Lycanroc. But I need a draw supporter. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I might get Floatstone for all I know. Let's just get Lele for a... Um, for a Sycamore. Because I need to have a decent enough hand. Um, I don't like being so stuck. Besides, we've won all of our games so far, haven't we? I don't want to lose against Quad Lapras. I don't, <laughs> but we might end up do losing. It's because they can heal easily. And it's hard for us to hit 190. Like I said, we hit 160 easily. But with another strong energy, we hit 180. And then with Kakui, we hit 200. But that's that's a lot to ask for, you know what I mean? All right, we got Remoraid, which is super duper handy because of the way they've been, they've been playing so far. Um, we can charge up another Lycanroc and potentially draw another Lycanroc next turn as well. For now, I'm just going to preserve my hand. Let him knock me out, I guess. Ugh, I don't like this. I'm not a fan. He can Blizzard Edge me next turn. Hopefully he's stuck. I don't think he is, but I'm hoping that he is. He's probably going to play Crushing Hammer now and try to get my Carbink. Tails. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blizzard Edge. So he has to retreat next turn, which means I could potentially drop a Hex right now if I wanted to. To stop him from retreating so that he definitely can't attack. I mean, what else am I really going to do this turn? You know what I mean? Hex will put him... At 170 HP, which is a little bit easier for me to hit. Do I have a? I don't think I have Kakui down there though. Let's do this. Let's just play cards down and see what happens. Um, yeah, let's get rid. Of, let's get rid of this stadium. Um, do I want to play Hex or not? I could play N or I could play Hex or what do I want to do? There's so many options. Like, I don't want to lose all these Seekers, that's for sure. Um, that is for sure. But he can't attack me this next turn. He has to retreat. So if I play Hex, he can't retreat. But if I play Hex, I also can't draw off Octillery. But I can Mallow the following turn and at least draw Lycanroc. So I think I'm going to play Hex. I'm, I'm really hoping the math in my head is right. I don't think it is. But we can't draw off Octillery this turn because of this. But if we can get at least one card we can play down off our top deck, we'll be in a decent position. Because then we can really abuse Mallow. Attach the Rock Ruff here. Now he can't retreat through unless he manually retreats, which means I guess it's still a possibility he can attach the Lapras manually, which he did. Dang it! Ugh, that sucks. That's annoying. He has choice band too. That's really bad for us. And he, oh, what is up with the perfect hands? I hate when that happens. My opponent literally got every single out that in that situation. How ridiculous is that? That's so dumb. 
Well, regardless, we are losing Carbink. <laughs> That's fun. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. We don't have a floatstone either. I could get a floatstone. Well, you can't attack me with this next turn now. Can we top deck something useful? Rock rough. Uh, I think we can play that down. Um, we can do damage to this. At least it's out of like we can put it into a KO range, and he can't ice beam anymore. So let's just give me Mallow. Whatever. <laughs> this is dumb. All right, we'll play Mallow. We'll get Lichen Rock and Choice Band. Does that matter? I mean, we already hit for enough of a two a KO, right? And. Uh, I could actually knock out Manaphy this turn. That would give him another chance to attack me, but I don't know if he plays Kakui. Should I knock out Manaphy? I think I'm going to put this Lapras in range first. I'm going to get a manual attachment this turn, just so I'm not behind. What's in my discard pile? I have a Lycan Rock down there as well, but that's fine. I'm going to play Sycamore next turn. Um, let me get a manual attachment here. We, don't, we have less fighting energies than we do strong, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's go ahead and Abyssal Hand. I'm just going to attack this. I got to weaken it because um, it's something I'm going to knock out. But I'm going to knock out Manaphy at some point as well, so I'm not going to do anything with that. So we can Octillery and then Sycamore next turn, I think, is what I'm going to do. Claw Slash will hit for 130. After healing, it'll be, what, he heals 20, right? Or is it 30? He heals 30. Which means I can still knock him out the following turn. He has to retreat this turn. Um, but let's see if he plays Energy Switch or Aqua Patch or something like that. Either way, I can... Oh, please don't land this. Thank you. Either way, I can play uh, Lycanroc to bring it out if I need to. And then play my last Lycanroc to bring out Manaphy for game. Looks like he's probably just going to collect here because he already manually attached. Yep, dope. All right. Sycamore, I need you to come through. I could also just play N. Choice Band, we'll play this down. Do I play N? I'll give him one less card. No, I need to play safe. I need to get this Lycan Rock. Because I, I, I'm putting myself in a much better position. If I could... Okay, I almost freaked out. Alright, so we have the Dark... We have this here. So we have a secondary attacker. Do we have Olympia down here? I believe we do, right? Yes, we do. Dope. No, so we can play our Seeker for that later. Let's drop Bridget. And do I drop Choice Band or Kikui? Or... I don't think we need Choice Band. Choice Band doesn't solidify any knockouts for us. Let's grab Lycanroc. And we should have... Okay, cool. We have one more Lycanroc in the deck. We also haven't even drawn with, Car with Octillery yet. So a bunch of good things are happening right now. We can take this Lapras over here. And we can draw two off Octillery. We got Escape Rope, which is going to be really nice, too, in case he Lysanders. And we can Claw Slash for Knockout. And now all we need to do is knock out that Manaphy for game. And this is why you shouldn't be playing things like Shaman and Manaphy right now. <clears throat> so, yeah. So we just knock out. He can't knock us out unless he top decks a Kui. I'm not, I'm not even worried about the DCE. Because we can still play Mallow, I think. Do we have enough room to play Mallow? We have Escape Rope regardless. And he's going to play N. Okay, never mind. So if we get Mallow here, we can get Escape Rope and Lycanroc for game. Unless he plays more E-Hammers. We got Lycanroc. But we didn't get Escape Rope yet. Well, we have Sycamore, though. Well, through Lele, we have Sycamore, I mean. If we didn't prize all the Sycamores, I mean. I mean, oh, we already used them all. Uh, we have N. Um, <laughs> okay, I think first things first, I have to play Lycanroc this turn. And then I have to try to get DCE. Put a Pokemon from your Discord pile into your hand. Yes, give me that Lycanroc. I know it's in here, right? I'm not seeing things. Dope. So Lycanroc gets me Manaphy. So now I need, to, yeah, I need to either get my last DC, which is in the deck, or an Escape Rope, or a Seeker for Olympia. So a couple things I can get here. Put them there, active Pokemon. Yes, give me the Manaphy. All right, I'm going to drop Lele. I'm not going to use his ability because I'm going to be drawing the most off of the um, Octillery here. I just want to see what's left in the deck. So I want to make sure it's all okay. So we can get DCE. We can get Field Blower, Floatstone, that combination. And we can get E-Rope. Or a Seeker, which there's only one left. So we have a couple of options. And if it comes, if worse comes to shove, we can just play N. Um, well, Octillery is going to make me draw the most right now. 
as far as I can assume. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to field blow away these two. Because if I get choice band, then um, we can use choice band to retreat. So we still have options. We can still draw things. But I win this game right now if I get the right cards. So come on, deck. Oh, man. One turn too late, bro. Now it's now this is going to be really hard. Because he can retreat next turn if he gets an energy attachment. Mm. We don't have any more rock roughs put, put down either. That sucks. Oh, well. We have Sycamore for next turn, I guess. Or I can just Lysander, too, depending on what we top deck. Like, I have Lysander to get this Mana Fee back out if I need to. I can still draw... Oh, please don't land this. Thank you. Don't play hammers, kids. Hammers right now are not even good. Like I'm, I was always, I've always been like hammers are right. No, we have Mallow, so that's actually okay for us, unless he has Kakui here. That would be wild if he has Kakui right now. He can't. Sick. What is he doing? Is he just ending the game for us? Okay, I guess he just ended the game for us. Anyways, this has been. Oh, it's already been an hour. Dope. Well, regardless, we probably would have got out of that situation. We had so much drop potential. We had Mallow too, so actually Mallow just won us the game. Never mind. Because he couldn't, since he couldn't retreat, he showed us all the cards in his hand from the looks of it. So he couldn't retreat. That means we won the game because of Mallow. So shout outs to Mallow, because uh, Mallow would have got us our escape rope or our floatstone or whatever we needed to attack that turn. Uh, he did with a couple of uh, some. Uh, he did with a couple of hammers, but that's okay. I mean, right now hammers aren't great because of Garbodor. Uh, most people just stick with four Team Flare Grunts. But regardless, thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like if you have not already. Those of you that want to see my Lycanroc decklist, this is my Lycanroc decklist. This is the one I've been playing a lot lately. I might, I used to play uh, two Shamans. Instead of the Remoraid Octillery, I used to play two Shamans, an extra Choice Band, and one other thing. And I don't remember what it is. Oh, I played Trainer's Mail as well. That's what I used to play before I changed it to this. I'm glad I took out the Trainer's Mail. The Trainer's Mail don't... I obviously never really needed the Trainer's Mail in that in those games. So I always had the item card that I needed or the supporter card I needed. And if I didn't get it, I had ways to get it in the future. So I'm actually okay with not with no Trainer's Mail. So as far as the changes go, I'm kind of happy with this decklist. Uh, just because you never really need Shaman. Just like you don't never really need Octillery. So, but it's just nice if you do get it. Regardless, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all the good jazz. Let me know in the comments down below what decks you want to see me play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.